Hey everyone and welcome back to the AeroWorks Workshop. I'm Adam Andrews with AeroWorks and today we've got an awesome box that showed up. This is going to complete our power source, our uh, power plant if you will for the airframe on the Super Duty. Uh, we got an awesome uh, package here from Duke. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, guys, well, I've got the box open, and inside this box is my five-bladed Duke propeller carbon fiber. This is a forged carbon fiber propeller. It's built in a mold, a little bit different than traditional carbon fiber propellers. It's a foam core carbon fiber molded. It's got the leading edge protection strips built in. It's actually put in in the mold when they build the prop custom colors to match our AeroWorks orange. And this is just a piece of art. Beautiful craftsmanship. The fit and finish on this is great. Um, we're gonna get all five blades out and take a look at them. Again, all the labels, the stripes, the serial numbers, this is all embedded in the mold when they build these props at the factory. So we're gonna go a little bit more in depth on them. We're also gonna show you the other components that we got with the kit. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Now what holds all five props together is this forged carbon five-bladed hub, also built by Duke. This is an amazing piece of engineering here. The strength, but yet the light weight of this, this unit is amazing. Um, we're gonna go into, uh, of course, more in depth when we go to mounting it up, and we're gonna show you some close-ups here, but the craftsmanship and quality of this hub, the precision, of it is just amazing. So basically, our propulsion system, which consists of the five-bladed hub from Duke, is going to mate up to the five carbon fiber blades, and then we have the back uh, spacer, as well as a carbon fiber spinner. All right, now take a look at this spinner. Pure carbon fiber perfection. Uh, we've got the back plate, we've got our nose cone, we've got our filler plates here. This is going to look like one mean machine when this is all done. This is not painted or clear coated. This is carbon fiber directly out of the mold at Duke. So we've got our carbon fiber spinner, we've got our forged carbon fiber five bladed hub, and we've got our carbon fiber blades ready to go, ready to mount, out, uh, mount up to the Viking 195 turbo engine. This is gonna be one awesome power plant. So we've got to get started, we've got to get laying out some components, uh, and we're going to be covering all this in a future episode, the mounting of the engine, the mounting of the prop, but I wanted to give you a little teaser, show you the parts that are coming in, and then we're going to go ahead and give you some updates on some of the other projects we're working on. So let's take a look. Now one of the projects we've got to finish up here is our nose strut, and if you recall on a previous episode, we're going to be replacing the Zenith Donuts with the Acme Aero custom built suspension that we received. Now I decided to go ahead and order up a spare nose uh, strut and leave the factory one that I had already had powder coated done. That way we basically have a complete uh, backup. But what we essentially have to do here is we have to take up the difference between where the original strut was mounted up to the firewall, replace that bushing with the new metal mount and then take up the difference of what this shock is going to do. So essentially we're going to have to do some cutting here. And if I take out the tape measure, we're going to have to take up the difference of basically the bottom of the mount to where we start to flare out there and remove that much from this nose strut by cutting it off. We'll then insert the strut or the excuse me the spring inside of the main strut tube and we'll bolt that up and then that will be our new suspension for the front fork replacing the donuts so that's a project we have going right now in the works all right so i talked to acme arrow and they recommended cutting this tubing with a tubing cutter like you might use in plumbing. Now I looked in my toolkit and the biggest one I have will not do two inches. So I got online and I did some searching. I searched on Amazon. There were some cheap ones in there. But I found a really nice one uh, from Eastwood. I'll put the link in the description 
and uh, that's on the way. Should be here any day. So we're gonna have to put this project in the back burner for a day or two. But we want to get a really nice straight cut here, and I didn't want to do that with a hacksaw or the bandsaw. So we're gonna do that with a tubing cutter. We'll then ream out the end, clean up the inside, and then this will actually insert into the tubing and then be secured with a couple quarter inch bolts. Now somebody did ask me on a previous uh, vlog, um, how does this then turn you know, with your rudder pedals if this is bolted in? Well, this whole thing turns here uh, fairly freely. I can't do it with one hand, but this will actually rotate on the shaft and it's made to do that. So it does still rotate. It's not locked in this uh, direct position, even though there's a bolt at the top. So again, guys, we're gonna be taking off the amount of the mounting plate down to where the chamfered uh, edge is right here, cleaning up the pipe, then bolting that in, and then we'll get this mounted back up in the firewall and get the firewall back on. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about a couple really cool events we've got coming up. The first one starting next week, Friday, which is Friday the 23rd, Saturday the 24th, and Sunday the 25th is the ACCAs. These are the Aviation Content Creator Awards. This is the second annual uh, awards uh, event that we're having. And uh, some of the biggest YouTubers there, Mike Patey, uh, Just Plain Silly, all the, all the guys you know, you know all of them that you've been watching. Uh, they have the top 50 uh, creators that are gonna be there. They're not really in any order, but they're all gonna be there. A lot more were invited. Uh, come on down, they've got an air show on Saturday. Meet, greet, we're gonna be there. AeroWorks is down there. So you wanna do that. Again, that's at the Whiteside County Airport in Rock Falls, Illinois. Uh, the week after that, so starting Monday or Sunday, depending on how you look at it, is of course AirVenture in Oshkosh. We're also gonna be up there. We'll be up there uh, camping Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is kind of the following week because we have some other engagements. But we'll be probably around the Zenith booth. We'll be around all the uh, manufacturers, Viking engines and that. If you see us in the AeroWorks shirts, stop by, say hi, uh, and we hope to see you there. So we're going to wrap this video up, guys, because we got a lot to get ready for. we got a couple big shows coming up this week. Um, we'll, we will be getting that tool in to finish the nose gear, so I'll pick that up probably midweek. And uh, so hopefully by the next video that you see on the airplane, we'll have that nose gear cut, the strut installed, and we will be putting it back on the airplane and rocking and rolling. So I hope to see you guys again, the ACCAs, and uh, come out and see us, say hi, and uh, we'll see you there hopefully. So we'll see you on the next one. It's Adam from AeroWorks, and thanks for watching. <laughs>